Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently watched the Studio Ghibli film called When Marnie Was There, and it's really a absolutely beautiful story. I loved every minute of it, and being a uh, Ghibli fan, a Miyazaki fan, as I have been since I was a little girl, it's a um, very heartwarming film, and just absolutely breathtaking in um, the artistry of it. The soundtrack, oh my goodness, it's, <laughs> it's glorious. I, I love symphonic soundtracks like that and it's very evocative and just uh, very beautiful. And it's a story about this uh, young girl and I'm, I'm not going to tell you too much about her background because if I do it'll give a lot of plot away. But her name's Anna and Anna has asthma and in the city she can't really function that well because it's hard for her to get enough oxygen and uh, in the be in the beginning she forgets her inhaler and worries her aunt and it's um it's very interesting um <clears throat> she she's very self-deprecating and you wonder why why are you so so hateful about yourself. Why? Of course, you find out later, and it's very tragic, but um, there's actually a happy ending <laughs> in all of this, but the the reason it's called uh, When Marnie Was There is because she goes to uh, the beach or the country to live with some relatives to help her condition, and there's this absolutely gorgeous marsh house, a little quaint marsh house, so pretty, um, in um, the distance, and she doesn't know why, but it feels familiar to her somehow. She has no idea as to why this is. It's kind of like she's having deja vu. It's like, I've been here before. <coughs> and, yeah, it's actually interesting, the revelation about that, which I won't go into, but she she meets this, uh, this girl, this uh, really polite, uh, very elegant blonde named Marnie and they become fast friends and yeah, there's a lot of good plot behind that too and I won't go into it but it's as far as Miyazaki films are concerned it's you know nothing short of um, astounding I just absolutely adored every minute of it and just the the whole meaning of the film and, and the little coincidences and nudges that we get from the universe in this way are so subtle that we don't even notice sometimes and how interwoven our lives can be with those um, we call family and it's just really quite uh, stirring I thought and just uh, poetic really um, <laughs> phenomenal and it, it truly is a, a <laughs> fantastic movie I think that any Ghibli fan would absolutely love uh, be warned you will cry because I did I, I cried immensely but um, I, I'm kind of in a weepy mood today anyway because and I promised myself I wouldn't do this on camera but forgive me now but um, I have a friend of, of 10 years and I've, I've spoken about him he's a SFC and um, he's uh, getting ready to uh, take some time in uh, Cuba and he'll be gone for nine months and it's kind of difficult for me because he's a he's a really good friend of mine and he's been through a lot he he went through a so-called marriage that um, didn't really work out and of course my father was trying to fix me up with him and I I do love him. I don't love him in that way. I just I don't think that a union between he and I would would function. He's um not exactly what I'm looking for. He's got everything that would be worthwhile, but in the long run I just don't think that it would be a good match, but as as far as love is, love is concerned, we have a lot of agape and, and filial love for each other. It's not eros at all. It's um it's on a completely different level. It's unconditional love and just uh 
I'm sad that he's gotta go, but I don't get to see him again. I really don't mean to cry about it, but I don't have very many friends that are that close to me or that really get me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> or that care about some of the things I enjoy. But he does uh, a lot of the things that I like. He likes that there are a lot of things that I enjoy that he just <laughs> doesn't understand. A lot of people don't. But that's what I get for liking obscure <laughs> cult classics, I guess. Um, that, that's one of my eccentricities, I suppose. But he's uh, he's he's going around Thanksgiving, so... I'm sorry we said our goodbyes today. <laughs> it's gonna be kinda hard. But at least I have other people I can talk to, good friends, but... <sighs> Hopefully I won't feel completely alone during the holidays. It, I've been praying about it, but... I think I'll be <laughs> resilient enough and resolute to get through it, but... It'll be kind of a challenge, I think. But, you know, I'll soldier through. But anyway, I wanted to talk about that. That I, I wanted to talk about um, the 7th. Um, I had, this is information that was misconstrued, but um, it was um, I thought it was, it was going to be the 11th that our border would be moving into a place where he can get some help with his addiction is actually the seventh that he's going to be having his appointment. Hopefully he can he can get in. Unfortunately he has to be doped up to do it, which I don't agree with, but that's the only way he can get entry is that's the way other people get entry to this um, facility. I just uh I pray that everything will be well and that he'll make the right decisions and not fall back on what feels good and what he knows and he realizes what the consequences and result will be so prayerfully it won't be that but <coughs> we'll get confirmations from him when all this is said and done when all the, f the finalizations are made but yeah it's it's been kind of a, a rocky week and it's been challenging just just because um, he's been in a very dour mood and very moody and uh, <laughs> talking to himself quite a bit, which is very irksome. But he's just brooding about it and not looking forward to it. But it's it's got to be done. He has to get better. He needs help in order to get better, and we can't do that ourselves because we are not professionals in this field so that is basically everything in a nutshell <laughs> but that's all I have to say about when Marnie when Marnie was there and um, what's been going on and just uh, a lot of the emotions that I've been feeling and somehow I know I'll be okay and I thank you for your support